Okay. Okay. Dude, what is this f terrain I'm fighting on, man? Dude, you are so fing dumb. What the f are you doing? Dude, this ramp. This ramp is trolling me! Oh! Yep, that's me dying in every single game of the solo cash cup. Now, as much as this performance seems like I'm not an okay player, I have actually qualified for one of these things at one point in time last season. Right here. Oh, good. Brief, brief, brief. Nice. 69 boys! Let's go, yes! Let's go, you oh my god! All right, let, let's get to 70. But what I have noticed with the overall gameplay that I've ever had is that the way that I play just isn't consistent. One week, I'm doing very well. The next week, I'm shaking my legs off. And the other, I'm making moves in creative off stream. So why is that? Well, I think it's a common issue with a lot of players in Fortnite that basically we're all just too good in creative. But when it comes to actual gameplay experiences, that's where we all fall. So... Solution should be very simple, right? Play more ranked, play more real tournaments, right? <sighs> well, I suck. Oh, that one hurt. Another game. Another 25 minutes of pain. Whew. Okay. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot egg and poop. E chicken and back to poop. E chilling with my So obviously in this case, there's not going to be much to help me out in terms of improvement other than just spamming games away and wasting my life away playing random games of ranked and pubs. So let's go back to basics and let's take a look at some things that I want to fix myself and we can focus on those things very, very slowly is the crosshair placement. Now, what I have noticed in a lot of the clips that I have is that the way that I flick is upwards, right? If you look at where my crosshair is the majority of the time, my crosshair is all the way down towards the floor. And that's probably not where you want to have it because you want to be able to aim consistently up towards the faces of your opponent. And bang. So I'm going to be using something that's probably not going to be the best way to practice my aim, but it's going to help me center my crosshair so that I have at least some sort of muscle memory to put my crosshair back towards the middle of the screen. And that is this option right here, which is basically going to centralize my crosshair back to the middle of my screen so that I can remember to put it back in the middle. Now, it's probably not going to be the best to actually use this in game, but I think this might help me slightly just to remember and just put it into my brain that I'm going to do this every single time. So let's get some speed realistics in.
As you can see there, sometimes you might just miss an over flick, but that's probably just the muscle memory that you had from before, just overcompensating for the aim that you have. So, like I said, I had very poor crosshair placement, so I might be over flicking upwards a little bit too much, because that's basically what my muscle memory is used to, like you saw in that clip. But, at the end of the day, if your crosshair is in a better place and it's a lot more centered, then my aim is overall going to just improve in that way. And it does work for some time. Now that we've looked at the core fundamental of what I feel like is one of my biggest issues, the second thing that stems from that lack of cost replacement that we just talked about is just the lack of controlled editing after that. Now, I feel like a lot of that comes from just being too much of a creative warrior. Now, I am not a creative warrior in the sense that you would probably think um, the young face sway, but overall if you think about it the way that i'm playing is just too quick for what is realistic in a real game of fortnite so what i am gonna do this week as well right before the solo cash cup is take a complete sabbatical from 1v1 build fight i know crazy but i feel like i'm taking too many bad habits putting them all into one spot and essentially it's affecting my real in-game play so i'm gonna give myself a doctor's order here of realistics and only in-game fighting and see how that changes me three days later cross replacement keeping our crosser at head level looking looking down boom press the key and it's centered we've had a few days to practice we've done only realistics i've gotten off the 1v1 build fight crack that is playing build fights now i feel like the whole time i'm just gonna say center crosser center crosser All right, center crosser center crosser center crosser center crosser perfect There you go, that was pretty good. No little reset. Ow. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Like that, well, like, what am I doing? I'm trying to go for a clip, you know? It's for no reason. Kind of unnecessary, but you know. Oh my. Now, I said I wasn't gonna PB, but at this point, he leaves me no choice. <laughs> Alright, Crosshair, definitely better. Whew. There you go. Now, obviously, one game here isn't going to show all the improvement in an entire few days of hard work, but it shows that the, the playstyle and the consistency there is a little bit better, and there's a lot more room for improvement, but, you know, we're slowly growing, and we're going towards our goal. End of the season, we're making $100, baby. 30 minus tax, obviously, but that's the plan. Join us on our journey. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.